What's up everyone, it's Scotty with Money Vesting. In this video, I wanted to break down the rotation, the market rotation that we are witnessing at the moment in the markets. As always, if you enjoy this video, find it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time. The link to our Discord and Patreon is also going to be down below if you're interested in joining and of course getting access to all the buy and sell alerts, options alerts, trade ideas. Everything's going to be included as well as the intrinsic value spreadsheets the members only private videos and a lot of other educational benefits as well and there is a 16 percent annual discount that you can take advantage of until the end of this month so all the links are going to be down below and we'd love to have you on board as a money vesting member so i actually did a video three weeks ago so going back as far as july 22nd we're going to come back to this heat map but this right here is a video i did exactly three weeks ago going over how the next six months will be very different for the market this video came out um july 22nd to be precise that's when it basically was published and uh we, we specifically talked about sector rotation um and there were very specific charts that i also went over going over the fact that technology the sector that has rallied so much in most of the first six months and year to date so january february march april may june and most of july as well is perhaps not going to be the sector that actually ends up performing well in the next five to six months. Of course, in August and pretty much since July 22nd, so if you come back over to the S&P 500, take a look at where we are, you'll notice that literally when that video came out, we have seen the NASDAQ more specifically. So you come back July 24th, that was pretty much the last week we saw the markets push higher. The last couple of weeks after that video, of course, we have dropped 2.85% this week, down almost 2%. And so far on this week, we are pretty much flat. So we have seen a little bit of a pullback, more specifically on the NASDAQ, in the tune of over 5.5%. Now, the specific reason as to why, uh, you know, I, I believe there is, again, this, this trend kind of playing out with sector rotation is because simply the valuations the percentage gains for a lot of these companies that have seen incredible year day performance. So if you come over year to date, you'll notice NVIDIA up 200%. We got Meta up 150%, Google up 46, Apple's up 36, Microsoft's up 34. Uh, we got advanced micro devices up 72%, Tesla's up 90%, Amazon's up 63%. And all the other sectors have lagged pretty heavily. So if you come over to, let's say, one month performance, you can start to see where the money is kind of rotating out of and where it's going to, right? Healthcare, energy, clear winners in the last one month. And a lot of the money has come out of likes of Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Broadcom, Meta's down, Tesla's brutally down almost 20% in the last one month. Amazon, Google kind of still holding up a little bit. Uh, but of course, we, we clearly see that energy and healthcare is where the money's kind of gone into. So there's another article that actually came out today, which was quite interesting, which basically suggested the same exact thing I already talked about on July 22nd. So uh, strategist Hayes Martin uh, pretty much mentioned that the decline that began in late July, early August will eventually take between 8 to 13% of the market averages. And the S&P 500 is already underwater in August. And the good news, he said, is that in the coming weeks, the decline will not spell the end of the bull market or the start of a new bear market. So that's actually one of the good things that I do agree on with him is that I think it's a very reasonable pullback slash a dip slash a correction for the market, which I don't believe is going to end this rally or put us in a bear market, but instead it's going to put us into a correction territory where the markets could be down somewhere between five to 10%. It's kind of like my range. Uh, he's expecting eight to 13%. And Martin, who is the president advisory for Market Extremes, is one of the few market experts to whom I often turn to for insight. This is the author of this report. Um, and he pretty much mentioned that uh, one such email arrived late in the day on August 1st um, and pretty much mentioned that the market internals were deteriorating. And he concluded that although I do not expect a major decline to result from this, we should be prepared for a more severe intermediate pullback. A defensive posture is warranted under such conditions is what he also wrote in a follow-up email martin said that based on his work this correction has further to go in the 8 to 13 percent range 
Yet, because his analysis shows the market internals have only modestly deteriorated in contrast to the severe deterioration seen at the bull market tops, he adds that I expect the advance to resume once this correction runs its course. And I think that's exactly where we are in this market cycle and something that I've also mentioned in my previous videos as well and something that I'm going to continue to reiterate. It's a constant analysis of risk and reward. And technology, the way that it's rallied year to date, uh, of course, all the gains that I showed you guys on a year to day basis, the risk reward shifted dramatically to a point where the marginal upside was just not worth the potential re uh, risk that it carried. And for those reasons, I think it was very wise. I think it was very obvious and to a point very smart to rotate out of those names from a tactical perspective over to something that's more defensive, maybe a little bit more value oriented approach over the next several months as the market takes a little bit of a breather and sees a bit of a pullback down 7 to 8 percent maybe 10 percent correction from these current levels so where the where does that leave us right now in this market cycle i think i've made myself very clear but if you go over to the technical charts and the patterns of course this week we are slightly down on the nasdaq i think we can easily get down to 13,200. that's going to be maybe another 400 point drop on the nasdaq and that's going to put us down roughly around 8% uh, from our recent peak of 14,400 from July 24th. Uh, I think that's going to be a very strong support. We could easily get down to that level. And for the S&P 500 as well, we are down about 60 basis points on the week so far. And I wouldn't be surprised if we do end up in the 4340, 4300, 4350 levels for uh, the S&P as well. That's going to be about a 100 point drop from these current levels. And from its uh, recent highs of 4600, that's going to be down about 6%. That's, that's going to be more on the sort of like a more conservative side, right? Of course, if it does get a little bit more accelerated and more extreme from those levels, maybe we get down to as low as 4,200, but kind of agree with Martin on that analysis that this is only going to be a intermediate few months lasting pullback slash a correction. And this overall uptrend is still going to resume once this potential sell-off kind of runs it runs its course. So we have seen a bit of a pullback already. In my opinion, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it does accelerate. I mean, Apple's been hanging on by a thread at 177. The moment it breaks below 177, you know, in my opinion, there's going to be maybe more potential downside because we're just at that 21 EMA on the weekly chart. Um, and of course, we could easily come down to that 100 SMA. That's the red line sitting roughly at 157, 158. That's going to be that next support. And that's exactly where I expect the markets to reverse back higher if and when Apple gets down to that level. Amazon, very similar situation. It's been holding about 137 for days. Uh, you can see the daily chart. It's been kind of back and forth at 137. The moment it cracks, 126 is a possibility. And of course, for Tesla, uh, we've already started to see a pretty significant breakdown and pre-market, it is down another 1.5%. Um, and as I've already mentioned before, wouldn't be surprised if it does end up in the 220s, it already is in the 220s now. So like 225, 220s, uh, and even as low as low 200s, possibly for Tesla moving forward. So that's going to be a very quick analysis. And like I said, I mean, if you want to be more tactical, uh, you could potentially look at your target allocations and kind of look at your obviously time horizon and your risk tolerance. Of course, there's an element of taxes that need to be accounted for, but defensive and being more value oriented over the next three to four months uh, would be something that I would be looking into, obviously, as I've already mentioned in my July video. Uh, but but of course, the tech rally and the overall overall uptrend of the market is still going to resume, in my opinion. Uh, it's not something that's going to completely knock us out of this uh, of this uptrend, but something that is going to lead to a potential pullback, maybe a sim simple correction, and then we can resume on that uptrend once again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a very, very quick update on the market situation, market condition, and the rotation that we're seeing. Uh, and, and of course, from a technical standpoint as well, make sure that you drop a like if you enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel, link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below. 16% annual discount if you want to get access to all the buy and sell alerts, options alerts, trade ideas. I have been trimming some of my positions and selling calls on other ones to hedge for this potential downside. So all those alerts will be available with the link down below. Happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.